Work is underway to pull off another Tools for School event at the Salvation Army. Angela Kelly joins us live from the Community Course Center in Green Bay to tell us more about it. Hi, Angela. Hi guys, well take a look at this huge pile of backpacks um, all ready to be distributed to area children. Um, they're also filled with supplies like notebooks and pens and pencils. Uh, this is Nan Paul, she's the Director of Social Services. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, tell us who Tools for School serves. Tools for School serves children from low-income families in Brown County or families that are just struggling maybe to kind of make ends meet month to month and just don't have that money for those extra school supplies or those new things that children need. Okay, tell us how these backpacks come into play. Well, these backpacks are already packed for the middle school age group. And so on Monday when families come to request this, the Tools for School program, uh, these children will be able to receive the backpack with the school supplies in it. And this is actually part of the Service League Back to School program we partner with them and receive these already mm -hmm. filled. All right, let's talk about what's going on over here. Okay, going on over here, we have a group of volunteers busy at work. What they are doing is getting ready to make up packages of school supplies. And those packages are all made up by grade level. So each of the children will receive the basic needs in terms of their school supplies for the level and grade that they're in at school. Okay, um, you're expecting to serve between maybe 1,500, 1,600 kids this year. Um, if somebody is watching and thinking, wow, I could really use that help this year, where do they come, what day, what do they need to okay. bring with them? What they need to do is they need to come Monday, anytime after 9 o'clock, here to our Union Court, 626 Union Court, uh, Salvation Army location, and they need to bring four pieces of information with them proof of their Brown County address, a photo ID of the adult in the home, proof of their children's birth dates, and proof of their income. We do ask, however, that they not bring the children because our gym gets really crowded mm -hmm. and it, it gets a little hectic for the kids to be here. Okay, and now I want to ask our viewers uh, to take a close look at the screen, pay attention, because they really could use some more supplies to help these kids out. And these are some of the things that they're particularly in need of. Uh, I know there's glue on there and scissors and uh, colored pencils, all that kind of stuff. And they could drop that off today through the Ab weekend, Monday? Absolutely. They can drop it off today between 8 and 4.30 or on Monday between 8 and 4.30. Even while we're distributing the supplies on Monday, we'll be accepting donations and making up additional school supply packets. All right, Nan, thanks so much for telling us all about Tools for School this Great. morning. Thank and, you. And uh, thanks to all the volunteers, too. Hey, we have more information on our website if you're looking to donate or maybe if you need some assistance. Go there. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Angie.